Welcome to Latino Life. I'm Graciela Moreno. Today we're speaking English. We'll learn about a program to help children become English proficient and how parents can help in the process. And we begin Latino Life this morning with a Valley organization empowering children and families to achieve productive, self-reliant lives. That is the mission of Reading and Beyond. The group is here to tell us about a new program focused on helping English language learners become proficient in English and be better prepared for life after high school. And joining us this morning is Maria Ceballos, the Reading and Beyond. Nice to have you on our program, Maria. Thank you, Thank you so much for inviting us, Graciela. So tell me about this English language program. Uh, the, in Reading and Beyond, we have the English language uh, advocacy program that this focus around the students that are classified as English language learners. We want to make sure that these students uh, receive the reclassification from an English learner to an English language profession in order to acquire the education level that all students need to leave with after they graduate from high school. Okay, and I know that there's some statistics out there regarding yes. just the number. There's a huge number, especially here at Fresno Unified, but all over the valley. But here in Fresno Unified, tell me about those numbers in terms of how many students are currently going to school without really knowing the language. In uh, California Department of Education in the year 2008-2009, they reported that there's about 20,000 students classified as English language learners. Just in Fresno Unified? Just in Fresno Unified. Okay. That makes 26% of the total enrollment in the district. But only in that same year, only about 2,000 students obtained that reclassification, meaning that they reached the proficient level. Mm -hmm. that they need to be. So what happens to these children in terms of the, the, the learning process? It must be difficult for them, right? It, it is difficult and what we have found out uh, through working in this program is that a lot of the students, they start in kindergarten classified as English language learner mm -hmm. and a lot of times it's taking them too many years. It's mm -hmm. taking them up to 10 years to obtain that reclassification. And what happened with the students is that if they continue on with their education like that, once they get to high school, they don't have many options. They won't be able to take the courses that um, that are required to apply to a four-year university because they have the classification as an English language learner. So what happens with the students is that they only have one option and their option a lot of them opt to drop out of high school. Other ones they do continue but they are having a lot of issues passing the KC exit exam. And once that happens and if they do get to graduate from high school, their only option is to go to a community college, which is great. But at the same time, at the community college, they're going to be taking the courses that they were already supposed mm -hmm. to be taking in high school okay. because uh, they're at that remedial level. Okay. And so what are you folks doing to make them English language proficient? Because that's the reclassification they want, that's, right? That's the reclassification we're looking for. We're actually working with, uh, in our community, mm -hmm. grassroots, we're working with the parents, telling them about how the system works, how the their child came to be classified as an English learner, what are the criteria for that reclassification. So we, in a way we're educating the parents to start advocating for their own children. On the other hand, we're also working with the district. We, we really know that they have um, seven recommendations in place, that uh, these seven recommendations are to accelerate the academic uh, achievement of the students. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to be proficient. We all want the best for the students. And they actually have seven recommendations in place that okay. they're implementing in the district. And, but we're focusing on two of the recommendations. And if I can share a little bit about yeah. the recommendations. Recommendation four will keep track of the students throughout their years. And as soon as the student is not progressing, they'll give some type of intervention to make sure that child keeps progressing and, mm -hmm. and to the point where they will reach the level of proficient. Mm -hmm. And then the other recommendation that we also believe is very important and goes hand in hand with each other is um, to make the parents aware of this issue. Uh, let them know that their child is classified as an English learner. You'll be surprised, Graciela, how many parents are yeah. not aware. Mm -hmm. And we're not talking just about the parents that only speak Spanish or the parents that only speak Hmong. We're talking about uh, parents that speak English, but they didn't know what the English learner classification meant to their child. And why is it so important for the parent to be involved? How can they help them in this process? How they can help in this process is, first of all, uh, one, when they go and, and, you know, they talk to the school, talk to the teachers, get involved, find out, you know, why is my child classified as an English learner? When are they going to be able to obtain that reclassification? We're asking the, power, the parents to empower themselves with knowledge. Mm -hmm. And once they have the knowledge, they'll be able to help their child. You know, also know the importance of when their children are going to take a test. Mm -hmm. How important is just one simple thing, go to bed early. 
You know, little, little things like that that are all going to make a huge difference in this uh, student. Okay. And so if a parent wants their child to be involved in your program or the child wants mm -hmm. to be part of this Reading and Beyond program, what do they need to do? What they need to do is contact Reading and Beyond. We do have a variety of different programs. Uh, some of the programs we do offer tutoring. We offer tutoring at home if the children qualify for the services. We also have after school programs. And then the program that we offer uh, through the English Language Learner Advocacy Program is that the, parent, the parents come to monthly workshops mm -hmm. where they learn how the school system works. Okay. So they'll be aware. And they also, if they participate in our workshops and if there's, um, they can also take their children to our community sites okay. the, where we offer free tutoring for the okay. students. I know that Reading and Beyond overall has a very mm -hmm. high success rate in helping the yes. children read and, and be at the grade level they mm -hmm. need to be in. This is a fairly new program, so you're you're yes. still looking to see what's working, what's not working. What's but working you're, and what's not working. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, it, I would imagine that it's very popular with the different school sites because they all want this to help the students, right? I mean, everybody wants, as you said, everybody wants yes, the child yes. to learn English. And, and, and we have offer our services. We have actually, we are currently working with other organizations here in Fresno that uh, provide services for parents. Mm -hmm. We're going out there, we're uh, providing workshops, not only for, for the parents, but the organization staff as well. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you, thank you it for inviting great us. great having you here. It was, All right. thank you. And to find out more about Reading and Beyond and its English Language Learners Advocacy Program, you can call the number on your screen, 454-8810. You can also go to readingandbeyond.org. And that information will also be on our website, abc30.com. Click on Latino Life.